were born yeah. and your parents, yeah. a little bit about your parents and your family growing up. That's the first part. We just want to talk about your childhood, but first start with where you were born and your birthday. Can you do that, Grandma? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll never get through that. Okay, so how about we, uh, let's see, what can we do? Oh dear. <laughs> we have a beautiful story. I just want to hear it. Yeah. Thank you. Well then let's do the easy part. Talk about Susan. <laughs> Talk about David. Susan. Oh yeah. That'll make you laugh. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about um when you met grandpa. And uh your first impression. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a first impression? Oh, my oh heavens, home. yes. <laughs> Mom lives here. Okay. okay. So we'll start with when, when they, where they met. Okay. And you want to make sure it's getting a lot of, not cutting her head off, but getting the. Yeah, I know. It's. Um, can't he? Can't he tell a story though? He can tell a story. Oh, I don't like know anybody that can speak better than Bob. I know. I'm just trying to, uh... I think you did a good job putting one on this side, too, to keep it from... Yeah. Who did you say this was? That's David. David. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us about this day also? Yeah. We'll hear yes. your opinion on that. Mm -hmm. But we want to hear uh, how you met Grandpa. Okay. It's not me doing this. Right. Okay, she's ready. Ready. Um, well, when I first went to Nelson, uh, it, it was a lovely place to live. It was just lovely. And um, I went to a high school dance, and Bob had already been through school, but he came back for the, this dance with a friend of his. And uh, he tells the story of he saw me across the hall and said he was going to marry that girl. And so we did. And we've been married. Uh, it'll be 73 next month. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, um, uh, how I first met him, there was one girl that kept talking about Bob Creer, Bob Creer, Bob Creer, Bob Creer. And I thought, well, I have to meet him. And he was pointed out to me. And I sat there, you know, at the, uh, at the dance and uh, saw him coming across the hall at me. And uh, so that was it. <laughs> That's how we met. And uh, had the three lovely girls, three lovely, beautiful little girls. Brian came later. And um, uh, uh, um, he's, he's, just, he's just so ambitious. He does everything. And he and Mercedes are uh, just going, um, traveling all the time, which is great because then we keep up with mm -hmm. his travels, which is lovely, you know. So, uh, but but Grandma, uh, can you tell us about... Um how do you, without emails and phone calls, how did you get communicate with Grandpa when he was away in the service? How did you? Just what, letters. Letters. Just letters, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would write to me every day, and I'd get a stack of them. And um, um, I would write every other, uh, uh, twice a week, something like that, yeah. So... Uh, but um, and when when he was um, when they were bombed at Pearl Harbor, how long was it before you found out he was safe? When oh, he... yes. We met in um, 1940. No, 39. We met, and in 1940, he joined the Navy. So he was in there before Pearl Harbor, and. Um, um, my dad, we only had one radio, 
And I got up this uh, one morning with my baby sister, Bobby, and uh, uh, going down the stairs, he says, turn on the radio. So I did. Mm. And uh, the first thing it said was, Pearl Harbor has been bombed. Well, the whole family just came running to me because they heard the same thing. And we knew that Bob was there, you know. And, uh, well, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so uh, that was December 7th. And uh, we didn't hear until the 20th of uh, December that he was all right. So I phoned the crews right away. And uh, they said, oh, thank you so much for calling. I said, well, I'm sure you have a, a letter, too. It's probably at, at uh, uh, Dad's, well, we weren't married then, but at Papa's um, um, office. So he, sure enough, he went down and he found it and uh, went along the street yelling, you know, so everybody came running to him. And, uh, you know, because the whole, the whole city thought he had been killed. And they never told me that part, you know. They never mentioned that. And even my family all thought he was killed, but thank goodness. So then so, let's talk about when you found out that you had to move to Japan with the girl, that I, that I when, you, when you found out that you were moving to Japan with the girls oh, and, yes. and the travel there. Can you yeah. remember that, Ferry? Yeah, that was lovely. That It was a real nice crossing. And um, this one man came and sat with us. Well, here he is, a single fellow, and three little kids sitting there looking at him. <laughs> he he took to the girls, and before we knew it, he took. He was walking them all over the ship by himself. <laughs> that was so cute, and uh, so that was lovely to know that he wasn't put out or anything. He really took to them. So uh, anyway, then when uh, um, Brian was born. He was a delight, and of course the three girls just clammed on to him, you know, and just loved him to pieces. He's a, he's really a going concern to this day, and uh, uh, he and Mercedes, as I said, are planning many, many um, trips, so that's great. Grandma, uh, can you share about when you lived in Toronto? You had a job. You worked when you were in Toronto? Oh, yes. Yes, I worked at uh, Robert Simpson's. Not Simpson Sears, but Robert Simpson's. And uh, I just loved it. I just loved it. I was in the um, um, <coughs> linen department. And before I knew it, I was heading the whole linen department. And uh, just loved it. You know, so uh, I stayed there. I think tw oh, 12 years because I'd heard that if you're there 10 years you get a retirement every uh, every month you know so I thought well I'm for sure I'm going to say 10 but I stayed 12 make sure and I got that retirement and that's very good and uh, Robert Simpson's was very good to me you know, so um, just like the Navy, the Navy was just great to, for me. And uh, What are your memories of growing up, uh, raising the girls in Ballard, uh, with family nearby and, and living in Seattle? What are some of your memories of, of the girls when they were in their elementary years? Near the family? Well, when you were near Panna and Papa and, and Grandpa's oh, family. Oh, yes. Oh, I yes. see what you mean. Oh, yes. Yeah, they, um, yeah, they really took to them because they were well behaved and I had warned them, when we go out, you'll be on your best behavior 
if you're going to act up, you act up at home. And you know, they always did. They always did. So that was great. And I remember going to one um, um, great aunt by marriage. And uh, she just couldn't stand children because some of the naughty ones in our family had gone over there. And uh, I said, oh, and here I'm uh, bringing these children over. Oh, but your children are different, she said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, as I say, they did stick to that. And uh, what, then, How old were you, Grandma? How old were you, if I may ask, when you became a grandmother? So that would have been think. in this picture here with, with David. 1968? Yeah, that would have been... That would have been David then. Yes. Yeah, was that when he was yeah, born? Yeah, 1968. Yeah, David was our first one. And, uh, oh, we just loved him to pieces. Still do today, of course. And, uh, as Bob said, now we have 19 great-grandchildren. So that's a lot of fun. So, uh, Can you talk about your travels? We want to hear you've traveled all over the world. You've traveled. Where are some of your most memorable, favorite places? You know, I don't think I can because every place we went where Bob had to go, I just fit right in and uh, worked with it, you know, and uh, just loved everybody that was around me. And so we got along that way. It was really, really nice. No, I can't say as I had a a favorite but then of course when we came home and settled in Seattle well then that was it yeah that was it what about when you traveled after grandpa you, you retired and you and grandpa did all of the traveling you oh. went to Europe and you went to where are some of the places what countries have you been to oh so many you know like oh where's Bob why did he stay here <laughs> Well, what one do you remember thinking it was a special place? If you could tell someone, don't forget to go to this place. Can we come back to that? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. They've been in so many travels. So. Yeah. All right, Grandma, here's a question for you. We want you to describe each of your four children. Um, you can describe their qualities or characteristics, um, something about them that makes mm -hmm. them different. Can you do that for each one of your children? Yeah. Well, Marilyn was outstanding because she had so many obstacles, you know, and uh, she just went right over every one of them, as you can see right there. <laughs> and, and Diane was our, the one that held up the whole family. And uh, to this day, she's looking after Marilyn. <laughs> but, and Susan was our little uh, monkey. <laughs> and you know, when I was younger, I thought, okay, now I I want a couple of real nice girls and then a naughty one. I actually thought that, and we got her. And to this day, she's our spark. And she said, what do you mean spark? I said, you just spark up the whole family when you walk in, you know, so, and that's true. What was I going to ask Bob? Oh, um, what places? Well, let, let's let her share about Brian real quick first. Yeah. And then Uncle Brian? Yeah. And then Brian was a long time after. But sure, welcome. And um, the girls just really took to him, you know. And um, uh, he, he um, was just like Diane. He wouldn't be spoiled. But uh, he, uh, he loved the attention of the girls. But he wouldn't be spoiled, you know. So uh, that's great. We have a lot of we had a lot of fun with Brian. Yeah. So Grammy, we were talking about um, the travels that you did when you both retired, and some of your favorite destinations. Would this be a good thing to film both of them together, talking about that? Sure. Um, okay. We wanted to get uh, put the chairs together. Okay. Drew, and, would you like um, to stop the video? Yeah, okay. Drew. Drew, yeah. stop it. Yeah, can you stop?